Kate Garner is at the Aclina World on East Chester Drive in High Point. And Kate, you are meeting some people out there who are making a difference, right? I'll tell you what, Brad. I mean, when I first got here early this morning, I already knew by the smiles on everybody's faces we were going to have a successful day. But this day is so successful, the Salvation Army already had to bring in a van to take all the coats. They've already gotten Lars. I mean, my gosh, did you expect that kind of turnout so early? This is fantastic. I yeah. mean, we had, just now, we had 200 coats by, by just one person. 200 coats by one person, yes. guys. Unreal. All right, Lars, tell yes. me this. What is your, being that you're with the Salvation Army, what does it mean to you? How does it touch your heart to see these kids get the coats they need? Well, I get a picture of, of a family, and they don't have the needs, uh, the means to, to buy coats, and they're, you know, they need the coats, and to right. see the picture in my mind that, that they, they, they now have the means, and they, they, they keep, kept, they're warm. Great. Well, thank you so much for being thank here. You. Let's go down to Tim. Tim, you're our superstar. Oh, yay. Thank right. you. And thank Sally you. Ann, of course, you are, too. Y'all, Kim's a realtor. Okay, Kim, you're a good realtor. So that means that you see a lot of young kids and young families. Correct. And so you know what it means in a pandemic when some people are being displaced out of their homes and they're cold. What does it mean to you to donate over 100 coats, guys? You donated 100 coats. Well, I'm going to tell you, this has been absolutely amazing. Um, I put out a feeler about uh, early November for this coat drive, and the response from our community has been absolutely amazing. They have just come out and given so much, cleaned out their closets, and I am so grateful. What a great community we're in. And when y'all pulled up, I thought it was really interesting. You had much more than this that came out. Correct. Um, I know you've been petitioning, you know, getting people in touch for coats for a long time. Did you notice a certain size of coat that people were donating? No, people were asking, um, you know, was it only for kids or was it only, you know, for ladies' coats? And I said, no, whatever. I mean, adults, kids, men, women, it doesn't matter. Just clean your closets and bring the coats. How, what makes, what touches your heart? I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Lars. Well, to me, it's the community outpouring. I mean, I, I really had no idea the magnitude of the response that I would get. Um, like I said, most of what I did was on social media, but I even had a couple, I was in the office one day, had an older couple come in and said, hey, you look like Kim Frazier, and I've never seen You're them like before. I am. I, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And um, they said, well, we've heard about your coat drive, and we have about 15 to bring in. And I said, how did you hear about this? And they said, I don't know. We just heard Kim Frazier and Alan Tate and coat drives. So. Wonderful. Well, yes. thank you for all you do. And I think we can all agree, you included, Sally. And yes, there's a lot going on in the world right now, but when you see goodness like this happening, you see there are good people and many blessings happening all around us, and that is the goal of Fox State, the Salvation Army, and a cleaner world, to bring all of that together and do good. So keep doing good. Come see us. I'll be here till 10, but you can bring coats until 6 for days and days to come. And we really hope you do. Kim, you're just you're an angel, and we really Thank appreciate you. all you did. God, back you. to you. Hey, thanks very much. It takes a lot of people just like her to make a difference. Remember, you can be a part of this, too. Just